Before we get into today's video, I wanted to make a quick introduction to announce that we are now doing this full time. With that being said, I need everybody's help in order to maintain the production as well as the amount of views and, and, and total thing that we're getting from all of this so that we can maintain this and keep it going. Let's aim for 100,000 subscribers coming up. That's going to be the biggest goal to attain, but probably the, the one that I know we can do because I really trust myself and you guys. And I'm going to leave in the description uh, to my TikTok page and my Twitch page. Please make sure you go and give those a like and a follow uh, so we can help boost an additional source of uh, potential revenue for the channel to help everything stay streamlined and maintained. Thanks everybody so much for your continued support. Thank you. What's going on, everybody? So we're back with episode four now of Velma season two. This episode was kind of a nothing episode, like kind of an absolutely nothing episode. And here's what I mean by that. Everything that the episode prior set up in episode three, which was like, whoa, story's really taking a turn. Episode 4 comes along, and it's terrible. Like, they, they didn't... So, the, the episode 3 ended with basically Norville getting completely lobotomized. He couldn't stop seeing visions. So, they were like, okay, let's try to see if we can do something with your brain. Well, they do hurt that part of the brain that... Um, or cut it out that shows him getting visions... But what it also did was it also cut out his empathy, right? So he no longer had empathy. And I'm like, oh, I wonder where this is going to lead. It's like resolved within the first five, six, seven minutes of the episode. And that's crazy. That's crazy to me. Um, I think that that's too much. I think that that's that, they're, like they're not paying attention. A lot of plot points and stuff, um, they just drop from the prior episodes as well um the whole there's the whole seance scene where again build up from the prior episode was trying to um uh, you know with the science fair as well as uh you know velma trying to call out amber and and her uh magic and things like that as being fake um Her, her, her magic and stuff being fake and then the seance happens and it's just boom it's over like that and because Velma notices that Amber is is kind of not doing things the way that a normal seance should run and I I see I see you over there Ryan I see you don't forget remember I said I was recording a video I see you Ryan okay I'm, I'm gonna have to edit this out now whenever we whenever I go to upload the video I mean, let me jump back in. Yeah, so with their seance, that it, it, it was just a whole, like, Amber kind of made everything, and uh, it, it didn't go as planned, and Velma ended up finding her out, called her out for it, and I don't know, it just, it just seemed all, a lot very convoluted. It just seemed very, um, like, they, they kind of wanted to go somewhere with it, but didn't. Now, the, here's where it kind of makes me go crazy, because this episode was kind of hype. This episode was pretty kind of hype, to be honest. Um, because the way that it ended and the cliffhanger, it really gave me a big cliffhanger. But then again, so did episode three. Episode three gave me a cliffhanger. Episode three gave me a lot of stuff to look forward to in the next episode that were quickly resolved in the first five minutes. So episode four has some cool cliffhangers and stuff too, right? Like with the weird Asian couple at the end and weird couple of other stuff in the, in the episode, especially the way that the episode ended before the post credit scene with Norville looking in the paper and kind of seeing somebody's name. I don't know if I should spoil it, but he sees somebody in there and he's like, whoa, that's crazy. Why should I care? 
Why should I care that that happened and that that was in the episode when the show itself doesn't care about its own problems and the show itself doesn't care about its own threats and the show itself doesn't care about its own uh, 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 plot that's going forward? And it's just... It, it's just annoying that Velma never wants to follow through with anything. They, I'm not going to lie. Season 2 especially, the show has some good ideas. It really, really does. Like, I know we we love to hate this show. I know that nothing in this show is right. Blah, 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 blah. But if we remember that we're on planet Earth, right? We put ourselves in realistic and realism. The show does have some good things. The issue is the show doesn't do any of those good things. It will have... I'm, I'm not even kidding. The, the, the plot line that was in episode 3 wasn't anything crazy or spectacular, but it was a good plot line. The whole lobotomy plot and the whole, like, tons of, of, of stuff. Him, like, the whole lobotomy and him losing his, his brain power and stuff. Um, or him losing his, his, his ability to think for himself. Uh, that was a cool plot. Again, not the most original plot in the world, but it was a cool plot. If only the show knew what to fucking do with it. Because it didn't, and it just resolved that entire plot in the first five episodes. And then instead of having that problem linger on throughout the rest of the season, it, it didn't. It just died. And then they were like, oh, hey, look at another problem. It's like, well, why do I care anymore? You, I stopped caring because you kept creating problems and then immediately solving them. So if you continue to create new problems, I, my question then for you is why should I, as the viewer, really, realistically, give any shit at all? Because none of the problems seem to matter at the end of the day anyway. Because they just, they're just going to end. So, I'm only four episodes in. You have a ten episode season two. And four episodes in, I'm not even halfway in. Not even halfway into your show yet. And you've already made me as the viewer not give a shit. I don't know if that's what you were trying to accomplish, but it worked. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Because, again, everybody hates this show. Everybody hates this show. And I'm trying to be fair, right? I'm trying to give the show its its golden apple whenever I can give it, but for fuck's sake, the the show shits all over itself. Like, I mean, I don't know what you want me to do at that point. I can't give you something if you don't want it yourself. Um, but anyways, that's my opinion of the episode. Show is pretty crazy, not great, um, very average so far. And again, just it's annoying. It makes the show. I've never, I've never watched a show that forces you, forces you as the viewer to not give a shit about what's going on. But that's the show so far, because it just creates issues that it solves immediately, and then creates more issues. Why am I? Con why, why should I ever care about any issue in the show? But anyways, guys, that's the episode review. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the episode, and stay tuned for the episode five review see you guys next time thanks so much to loser hd the plush experience kame senin and susan simone for becoming members you would also like to become a member on my channel there is listed multiple different tier levels and you can pick out which one is best for you